Chiamaka Kenny Dogwe. I'm a freshman from Hinesville, Maryland. My intended major is Earth Systems. And I would say the reason why I came to this beautiful place called Stanford is because it's beautiful. I love everything about it. The women, beautiful. The buildings, beautiful. Everything. Even the bikes, they're so beautiful. So, and Hoover Towers, it's a sexy, sexy, sexy thing in the sky. So I would say if you need advice, be yourself and focus on the essays. Those are very important. Hey, my name is Eric Cuevas. I'm from Lockport, Illinois. Um, I'm a freshman and I'm potentially majoring in international relations, maybe a minor in computer science. Um, I chose Stanford because coming in, I really was not sure if I was going to go into humanities or science. And this is one of the very few schools that allows you to take classes from all of the different um, fields. My advice is that you write about who you are, not what you've done, because the essays are the only chance that you'll get to convey everything that can't be told by numbers or facts. Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Fisher. I'm from Long Island, New York, Lindenhurst to be specific, and I'm a freshman here at Stanford. Uh, I'm looking towards the double majoring in Earth Systems and Music. So, uh, my biggest advice for all of you college applicationers is that make sure that, like, even for your essay, just write about something you love, not something that Stanford's going to, or any college that you want to apply to, that, like, oh, this shows that they're distinguished. Just do you. They're, they're, write about what really makes you happy or what, what you love, because in reality, your passion is what is going to get you places. So make sure you really put that on your application. Hi, I'm Benjamin Williams. Uh, I'm from Chicago. Uh, majoring in computer science and thinking about co-terming in MSNE. Um, I chose Stanford because of, um, basically, when it came down to my college decision, um, I had to decide between an all engineering school uh, or a liberal arts school, which Stanford's a liberal arts school, um, but that also boasts like a really great um, engineering education. So if I ever wanted to you know, take classes outside of engineering, I had that option. Whereas at the technical school, I didn't really have that um, variety. Uh, my advice for applying to Stanford would be uh, essay wise, give your essays uh, to other people to read. I used to think that like great writing. Um, was something you know you did alone where you, you could write something great and no one ever had to see it and it was amazing. Um, but the flaw in my logic is that uh, writing is a form of communication, right? So um, the only way you can be sure you're communicating is if you give it to someone and they tell you what they received you know, from your writing. So uh, make sure you're communicating well, um, spend time on the essays, and also be genuine um, and be authentic about like who you are. I'm Thomas Pan from East Hanover, New Jersey. Um, I am a freshman. I am planning to major in ms &D. And the w number one advice I'd give to seniors is to make sure your application is balanced and that you have strengths in more than one area. Hi, I'm Brandon. I'm Dahlia. And we're both freshmen here at Stanford. Um, um, where are you from? I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm from Washington, the state. And I'm thinking about majoring in bioengineering. I think I'm doing uh, Hunt Bio, which is human biology. Yes. So I think our biggest, well, my, my biggest tip for, <laughs> for applying to Stanford would be for you to think like an admissions officer. Think about how they have been reading thousands of applications. They've read thousands of applications in the past so that in reality, you're not going to surprise them. So you want to be, interest them. Make them shed a tear, laugh a little bit, something. Just prove that you're an interesting person capable of conveying your interesting message. And they'll be all well. Um, I would say that just like to make sure that your application sounds like you. So maybe to think about um, like traits that are really important to you in terms of how you act. Like if you, if you value that you have great listening skills or communication skills or that you're really nerdy or something like that, to make sure that that comes across and that maybe people who know you can read your essays and think, yeah, that sounds just like you. And don't be afraid to be weird, because <laughs> we're all weird here. <laughs>